Hi, are you still wondering what this show is about? Well, let me tell you, this show is about helping our children, not forgetting, helping you help your child or your children change their attitude towards learning for better and make informed career choices. And we do so by getting people from different career fields to come and share with us about the experience in, in becoming the people, um, the people they are today and also the, in creating the life that they truly love. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'm your host Ndibo Chivase and welcome to another episode of Complacency Learning. And and on today's episode, we are joined by Kapil, Mo Kapil Moon, all the way from India, who is here to share with us more about system designs and, and more of the ways to keep learning. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay, uh, watch till the end, as there's a lot to enjoy. Hi Kapil, welcome to another episode of Complacency Learning. How are you doing today? I am good, how are you? I am okay, thank you. They say every day above the ground is such a wonderful day and here I am uh, feeling wonderful because I know we're about to do wonderful things right now. Right, so um, so before we, uh, we, we start with the first question, um, can I just, let me just allow you actually to introduce yourself. Who is Kapil Moon and what does he do? Yeah, so my name is Kapil Moon and I'm a product designer here in India. I started my journey as an artist and later moved to engineering, but then I thought my passion is different. So I just dropped out and started as a designing field and I'm now a product designer here. Mm, that's great. Um, that's actually quite a good profile. Eh? And uh, I have to say, I love what you do. So that's why actually, I'm actually, I just actually enrolled for another degree. Can you believe it? But into the, um, what you call this, the IT. So I, I, I think in the world of IT, it's, it's great. Eh? So, um, so now with my first question, I would like to ask you, before you begin with the with, with that career, what is the one thing that you wish you had known? Obviously, some of us, there's things, you know, when you think of uh, like, uh, what you call this, for example, like doctor, you just see yourself helping people, but you don't think of the responsibilities that come with it, right? So, um, and and obviously some things we discover them while we're in the, in, the, in the career, right? So I just wanna ask you, what is the one thing that you wish you had known before you began the career? Yeah, before beginning the career, I think that um, I must have known that there are so much of opportunities out there. Like, mm -hmm. we we believe that there are very less opportunities, but actually there are uh, so much of opportunities and we can start very earlier. Mm -hmm. I think even 50%, even if we are 50% ready, then we should uh, go for it and start it. And the rest we can learn mm -hmm. because the edu education is always uh, evolving. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can uh, never be complete. Mm. So I think uh, even if you have the basics, you should go and start for it. Mm. Mm. No, I, I agree with you on that one. Hey, um, so now in, in becoming the person you are, obviously in the field that you are, you said the system designer, right? So yeah. in the, in that field, obviously there's there's uh, what you call this. At some point, you you experience like a big failure, right? And then you had to learn from it, right? So which brings me to this question. What was your biggest failure and what did you learn from it? My biggest failure was like uh, <laughs> to give times to the close people and relationships mm. because I was like much more into the work and uh, day and night I was just working and uh, not giving time. I think uh, life is balanced when we balance all our works and passion and relationships. Mm. And uh, so that's I think that's I missed because the time never comes back. Mm. So I think we must balance our work and relationships together yeah, yeah but that's true hey once the time is gone <laughs> it's never coming back <laughs> it's gone right yeah so yeah. Mm -hmm. so uh, now obviously now there's there's people that would like to pursue the same career as the one that you're in right so i believe that's the world of it like like i like i said also that i've, I've just jumped also into the world of it right yeah. so mm -hmm. um so to those people what career i mean what advice can you give to them I, I would like to suggest them that uh, they should be more playful and more uh, questionable to the existing uh, ideas and world like they should be more curious about their work because uh, design is like it's it's always evolving and uh, in IT it's uh, evolving very rapidly mm -hmm. so I think all of those uh, those who are younger uh, they must be more curious about that and they must question everything 
and uh, instead of being judgmental they should be experimental about that mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. the ups and downs and everything so mm -hmm. the curiousness is the key for design mm -hmm. now speaking of that uh, that you need to play around right so uh uh, growing up, we were uh, one of those uh, people who were a bit advantaged, you know, at least we could get like a computer while it was still like coming into the market at that time, like not really into the market, but in our area. Right. So and I was that 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 boy who would like, you know, just mess it up, you know, because I wanted to experiment new things with that computer. And then every mm -hmm. time I would do that, my my obviously when I get it, uh, when it stops working or something goes wrong with it. My mom would would, would 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 tell me, you know what, you need to go get it fixed. And and uh -huh. while at it, like as as I'm getting it fixed, I'm busy asking questions there. What is this? What do you use this for? What do you do that? Okay, and then after I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Okay, nobody's home. Let me just dis disassemble this this computer. Uh, if if I struggle to put it back, then it's just gonna be one of those days where she's just gonna you know shout at me and that's it. So and then from that, I really learned a lot. Hey, like I mean. Uh, sometimes you need you know yeah. you, need, you, you need to get into it you know so you can you okay. can really be good at it right <laughs> so uh now right in becoming the people we are today obviously there's things that we we we, we read um that uh, actually inspire us right or things that we listen to be the podcast and and all those stuff right so if i may ask right so what are the best resources that have helped you along the way and uh if there's anything that you've read or listened to uh, would you mind sharing with us what it is yeah the best resources i think is the first internet because internet has the power to make you from zero to hero because everything is available on the internet mm -hmm. just uh, you need to be that curious to dive in and uh, search for every question because everything has the internet now mm -hmm. so we get almost every answers about that mm -hmm. in design field the internet is it, it really helped me and uh, another uh, is books books mm -hmm. uh, books are really helpful in my field actually the books on uh, psychology and philosophy really help designer to understand the people and uh, how they behave socially and personally mm -hmm. and then tracking those psychologists we can create products and a good ui and ux mm -hmm. and um, psychology books are also important uh, because they they give you a stability in life they mm -hmm. they they give you a clear point and uh, you become more stable and uh, Mm -hmm. uh you know more risk taker because you know that everything is going to be fine and everything is perfect so books and internet are the best resources mm -hmm. so learn. We are speaking of uh, going back to the point where you mentioned the internet. I think a lot of us are ignoring to the fact that, you know, we can do a lot on the internet, you know, because we spend too much time doing um, things that don't benefit us at the end of the day. Like uh, we spend too much time uh, posting about half the life that we live, you know, on social media and stuff. And sometimes we even watch these videos that uh, by tomorrow when we wake up, they're gone. There's nothing learned, right? So, and also yeah. speaking speaking of the books as well, like I, I really I really like that idea because I myself, uh, I've been I found myself reading a lot of books. I think that's one of the reasons why I decided to you know go back to school for another degree because mm -hmm. I just felt like my brains need that 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 uh, part of you know me that keeps learning, right? Because I mean it's something that happens every day, right? And speaking of uh, influ uh, uh, influences. You know, there's uh, the books that you read. Obviously, they're read, um, written by people that influence you, right? So, if I may ask you, who are uh, the the people, the three people that have influenced you the most? Uh, three people are uh, first is Osho. He was Indian mystic. Uh, second is Paulo Coelho, the author of Alchemist, mm -hmm. and uh, third was the Joseph Muller Brockman. Mm -hmm. uh, Joseph Muller Brockman was the uh, Swiss designer. Mm -hmm. He actually started his uh, career as a theater uh, poster artist and then mm -hmm. um, he moved to uh, like he was the like epitome of the international typographic style. Mm -hmm. So what excites me about that is uh, his energy and his work uh, really speaks very loud. So like th th that's very interesting journey of his. Mm -hmm. So I, I like his work so much. And another is Paulo Coelho, the author of Alchemist, which is the famous worldwide famous book. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, he's the inspiration that uh, you can start at any age. Mm. You can start at any age when you like something. Like he wrote the books in uh, his late thirties, mm. so yeah, th that really inspires me because mm. uh, it's like uh, uh, what we think. We think that after forty, we our energies goes down, but it's not like that. Mm. So age doesn't matter actually. We can follow our passion whenever we want to. 
And third one is Osho. Osho is an uh, Indian mystic. He mm -hmm. has a, he has spoken on almost every subject, and he has mm -hmm. uh, he has his different view and more into the philosophical view, which mm -hmm. is uh, science based, and you can say. And so that's that's bring the stability to you mm -hmm. your work and what you do. Mm -hmm. And also speaking of people thinking that their energy drops, right? So today, um, I actually asked my colleague. My colleague came. He's like he greeted me. I greeted him back, and then he's like um how are you doing i'm like no i'm 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 well thank you and how about you he said to me i'm trying my friend uh you are the ones to you are the ones who's leaving i'm trying to leave i'm like why do you say that's like because i'm old i'm like but you in your 40s and and you're saying you're trying to leave it's why you can't you just leave i mean i think it all mm -hmm. comes down to 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 what we do you know on our daily basis you know like are we doing something inspirational are we doing something uh that that we're happy with is what we're doing gonna uh, take us to where we want to right so mm -hmm. now speaking uh now going to the next question you know people like uh, they would say, for example, let's say now you're an artist who's just coming up, you know, and and uh, people will think that because you're famous, then you have a lot of money, you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, I believe that's just one of the myths about people who are becoming to be, uh, who are starting to become celebrities, right? So um, mm -hmm. speaking of me, right, in looking into your career, right, is there one myth that you would like to expose the falseness of? Yeah. So this field actually, it's. Uh... Actually, designers get lost when uh, they think that the product is how it looks, mm -hmm. but it's uh, not how it looks, but it how it works and how it feels. Mm -hmm. So most of the designer thinks that the UI and the visual visualness of that product matters, mm -hmm. but that matters, but not as much as the experience and how the product feels like. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as we can see in IT industry, also in product designing, mm -hmm. in like chairs, there are lots of types of types of chairs. Mm. but we select which is more comfortable so mm. that's how the uh, we must focus on the user experience so that's the falsify that's the false thing that i think a designer must know all right great um uh, thank you for that uh i just want to ask you now right if you could step into my shoes what is the one thing that you would have asked yourself that i did not uh, yeah, I will ask like, uh, what is the best way to begin any career at any age? Mm -hmm. So uh, the first thing is like a uh, drop the laziness because laziness is our actual nature. Like we don't need to do anything to become lazy. We become <laughs> lazy yeah, automatically. Yeah. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so drop that laziness. And uh, mm -hmm. second is be motivated, but mm -hmm. motivated in the sense like you should be motivated from inside. Mm. And not like you just uh, saw a YouTube video and then tomorrow you are going to work out and mm. getting, but that's, that's not actually motivated. It's, uh, it's just the short term. So mm. when you uh, select a purpose in life, mm. then you become actually motivated about those things. Mm. When you see yourself uh, three, three years ahead, like mm. that you will become like this, then you become motivated. It's mm. not the motivation should come from inside us and not from the external sources. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that drop out and it's just like, oh, there's this something that I was reading, right? It said something about uh, the reason why we sometimes lack motivation is because we keep rewarding ourselves for, for, for things mm -hmm. we didn't, it's like we're rewarding ourselves for nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like when you, for example, let me use an example of, uh, I can't think of a better example. Like, you know, like you don't do anything and then you just reward yourself. Like, what are you rewarding yourself for? Because at the end of the day, you don't even see where you're going, you know. And then after so many years, you then realize that you probably wasted time, right? So yeah. um, now to those that would like to connect with you, where can they do that online? Yeah, they can find me on Facebook and uh, Instagram. I'm there. Kapil Boon is the handle. <laughs> All right, great. So you uh, send me the handles and then also, but would you mind sharing with us the handles, what they are for uh, those that are listening, not uh, watching? Yeah, the, so the Kapil Moon is on Facebook and mm -hmm. Kalakar Admi, K-A-L-A-K-A-A-R-A-A-D-M-I at Instagram. So yeah. Kalakar Admi means actually artistic person. <laughs> <laughs> But you, 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 somehow, you also send me those um, handles so that I can also put them at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, sure. All sure, right. Sure, sure. All right. Great. So uh, now there's this uh, well question, you know, from all these questions that I've asked you, right? This question that I'm going to ask you is, um, 
one of the ones that I like the most, you know. And I've mm-hmm. asked a lot of people this question and I've gotten different responses, like, you know, um, like it's it's learning. Like I usually ask, what does learning mean to you? They will tell me it's acquisition of knowledge, right? Some will tell me it's uh, it's something that you do every day. It's like a daily task, right? Uh, and and obviously it's something that takes time. It's not something that just happens overnight, right? So I just want to ask you, the word learning, what does it mean to you? Uh, I think learning is the very essential of our life. So mm. since our humankind, we have been learning continuously. Mm. We are continuously learning new things. All our humankind are learning new things. Mm. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's the essence of life. If you cannot learn, you cannot, um, like if, if uh, suppose, uh, for example, if you, are, uh, if you are born in 50s or 60s and you are not learning the mobile, how to use the mobile, then it will be quite difficult for you to mm. sustain in this. Yeah, uh, 21st century. Yeah. So you need to learn to mm. keep up yourself with the time yeah. and uh, learning is the best way. And another thing is uh, learning comes to joy when you want to really do that. Like it should not be burden. If you like something, if you like skating, then learning about skating becomes a joy. Mm. And if you don't want just your parents and so you are doing, then it, it becomes <laughs> burden. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. That, that's the <laughs> so yeah. we must always be uh, mm. in state of learning and learning is like uh, it's uh, limitless ageless mm. and uh, you can start any time to learn mm. and uh, you know i will tell you a fact that um, you, you know the wikipedia logo it's 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 a globe and it has puzzles mm. Uh, mm. and it, it's an incomplete globe mm. they mm. actually represent that learning and knowledge can mm. never be complete Mm, so mm. it's it's also a fact that it yeah, can uh, yeah. not totally learn everything mm. so yeah mm. that's a thing learning is very essential in life Yes, because um, when you don't learn, we miss out on um, a lot of opportunities, you know. It's like when they even come, we don't even realize them. We just we just let them pass us by, you know. Um, and, and, and they say it's better. I, I think, less, you know, Les Brown, right? He has even said uh, in one of his uh, many speeches that, you know, it's better to be prepared uh, for an opportunity and not have one yeah. than not to be uh, to be prepared and get one. So I think that mm-hmm. uh, that's a very powerful statement because I mean, uh, it should actually, uh, what you call this, encourage us to learn because the more we learn is the more we realize those opportunities, right? But when we don't learn, what happens? We just let that bus full of opportunities leave yeah, us, yeah. right? And then mm-hmm. the next thing now, we take those talents and everything that we could have used into the graveyard, and hence they call it the uh, the richest place on earth. You know? yeah. Right. So, um, so I've asked you all the questions that I've wanted to, and uh, in closing, before we actually close, uh, is there anything that you would like to add about um, what you do and um, this other stuff that you're involved with? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually a designer, but I was uh, more into artistic, and then I'm. I, I have wrote a poetry book also. So it's it's called a Speaking Lines. It's a collection of poetry, and now I'm planning to uh, trying to write my new book. It's uh, billion smiles away. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm doing now, right now. Like we must uh, give a uh, hundred percent for what we like, and we should explore our lives more and what we do. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think. And another thing I want to add, like, uh, there are two ways of living. So one is that uh, you uh, that you decide how you want to live. Mm-hmm. Like you can go what you want to do, uh, want to do, and yeah, you just go for it and try for it. Mm-hmm. And another is waiting for, like, whatever comes, you will go. So both are like both are okay, but it's like the first one you believe in yourself, and second one you believe on something that's not you. So I believe the first one is better. Mm. to believe on yourself and uh, go get what you want mm. Mm. So, that's it. yeah yeah that that is true you have to believe in yourself eh? it, um, regardless of what happens to you you know you just have to keep going the pain everything that comes to you is to, to shape you yeah. to a better person right so i think that's 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 the best way to learn right uh, and, and uh, yeah. i think like they say right uh life will teach you lessons that no one can ever teach you yeah yeah so that's why they say we live and we learn right so um you know um i just want to say uh well it's, i don't know how to thank you but i really want to thank you for actually making time to come and share with us such valuable information 
I know it's uh, it's kind of hard for us given the tasks that we do every day and the things that 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 uh, are, are, are on our hands, you know. So I just want to say thank you for um, creating time to come and share with us such valuable information. Yeah. And I believe that a lot of us have learned from it, and that uh, it's something that we're gonna take with and live with. And always remember that uh, the best way to learn is through experiment. You know, you need to yeah. to to get on the field. You know. So once again, I just want to say thank you so much. Eh? My pleasure. Thanks. All right, thank you. And please uh, do have a uh, wonderful life further moving forward. <laughs> yeah, wish you the best. <laughs> All right, wish you the best as well. All right, to you and your family. All right. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you for watching till the end. And we do believe without a doubt that you've enjoyed today's episode as always. And um, to those that would like to get in touch with Kapoor Moon and know more about system designs, uh, please do uh, so at the details provided at the bottom of the screen. And while um, you, you add it, please remember to like and subscribe so you are notified when a new episode is posted. Ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe so you can be notified each time when there's a new uh, episode and ladies and gentlemen i just want to wish you nothing but the very best of luck in everything that you do and may everything that you do or touch tend to be what you wish for it to be until next time and stay blessed